Open vocal cords is signified by breathing. When the vocal cords close, that's when we get sound. Hey guys, Miss Chance here, and welcome back to Vocalify. Today we're going to be talking about the vocal cords and their functions and how they move in different ways will give you different qualities of sound. The vocal cords move in three different ways. They can open, close, compress, decompress, or stretch or shorten. Let's talk about opening and closing first. Well, open vocal cords is signified by breathing. <laughs> When the vocal cords close, that's when we get sound. So open, closed. Now when the vocal cords are closed and we're producing sound, we can get into compression or decompression. How much force are we putting on the vocal cords as they come together? So how do you know if your voice is compressed? It's when you get that very grounded, full voice sound. Now, decompression means you are allowing air, you're loosening up your grip on the vocal cords. You're not putting so much pressure, you're loosening that up and you're allowing some air to flow through. When you get caught in the rain. So decompression is synonymous with breathier sounds. Compression is synonymous with grounded, full voice sounds. Now, the amount of the force of the compression or the decompression will give you a different sense or different quality of sound. You don't want too much compression because then you're now slamming your vocal cords together and you can damage them and create notes. But you also don't want to let so much air through it because that's whispering and that also will dry out the vocal cords and damage them as well. So you want to be somewhere in the sweet spot. And lastly, our vocal cords either stretch or shorten. Stretch vocal cords are signified by higher pitch sounds. Shorten vocal cords are signified by lower pitch sounds. Bite me. So if you want your voice to go higher, you think of stretching the vocal cords, pulling it back like a slingshot, the higher you go. Now, if I want to go down in pitch, I'm going to shorten that slingshot. Now let's talk about different registers. The first one we can the first one we can look at is vocal fry. You might have heard vocal fry by the stereotypical Valley Girl or Kim K. Oh my god, like wow, like oh my god, like I can't believe it talking in your throat and that sort of uh, type of sound that is signified by unstretched, slackened vocal cords. It's air passing through it, but the vocal cords are not vibrating as fast because it's not stretched thin. So, uh, then we have our modal register, which is your speaking voice, which is neither long nor short and neither heavily compressed or decompressed. It's just kind of somewhere in the middle. That's where you speak regularly. There's no, there's not a lot of extra air force or air pressure that needs to go through it. It's just your regular speaking voice. Try this one exercise to identify if your vocal cords are opening or closing. 